everybody. How are you today? I hope you're all doing well and doing fine and enjoying this beautiful fall weather. I love autumn. It's my favorite time of year. I thought I would bring all of you with me to the pumpkin patch for a science story time. So it is story time, but it's a little different because this is true information. This is not a made up story. We are gonna learn all about pumpkins today. Wouldn't that be fun? So let's get to our pumpkin story for the day for our science story time. It is called From Seed to Pumpkin by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by James Graham Hale. And it's a let's read and find out science book. From seed to pumpkin. Let's read and find out science. Here's a picture of different pumpkin seeds. Have you ever planted seeds? Now it's time for the story. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with the dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. See that? Start out with little tiny roots right there. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open. Stems sprout up, roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. These shoots grow into tiny seedlings. Two leaves called seed leaves uncurl on each stem and they reach up towards the sun. You see those? Just about every plant starts out with two leaves called seed leaves. The sun shines on those leaves. I can't wait to see what happens. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food. Like us, plants need food to grow, but green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make their food. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Leaves catch the sunlight. Roots soak up the rainwater and little openings in the leaves let the air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix the air with the water from the soil to make sugar. This feeds the plant. Soon, broad prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold on the stem. The new leaves are rough and prickly, but the seed leaves are smooth and round. The seed leaves dry up. See, they're dried up. Now the new leaves make food for the pumpkin plant. These leaves are like little food factories. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so that they can make sugar. The other tube in each set sends food back down so the pumpkin can grow. The days grow warmer and the farmer tends the pumpkin patch. To keep the weeds out, weeds take water from the soil and pumpkin plants need that water to grow. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall as the stems grow longer, they sprawl all over the ground and before long, twisted, tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. Just like all these vines that are underneath me right here. Soon, flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger and they look like bright orange umbrellas like this flower except it's kind of old and its petals have curled up but you can see inside the flower one two three four five petals one two three four five petals during the heat of the day the flowers close it's too hot they open again during cool nights and early mornings 
The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees. The bees buzz about carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now the pumpkins can grow. The petals wither away. Where the flowers bloom, tiny hard fruits begin to grow. Hundreds of them cling to the vines. The days grow hot. All summer, the warm sun and cool rain help the tiny fruits grow larger and larger. Did you know that pumpkins were fruits? They are. Soon, summer is over. The corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on the trees turn red, orange, and yellow. Pumpkins change color too. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow, then orange. In just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into big, fat, orange pumpkins. The pumpkins are ripe and round with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes and they're waiting in the autumn sun. Just like these pumpkins today in the autumn sun. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Colorful leaves turn brown, winter winds begin to blow, and soon the trees are bare. The farmer looks over the pumpkin patch where only a few dead vines remain. Kind of like this one here. But when spring winds warm the earth, once again he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds, and once again they will grow from seed to pumpkin. Here you can learn more about pumpkins and how to roast pumpkin seeds, which are really yummy. Here it talks about how plants drink water. And you know what I think? I think we should check it out. How do these vines pump water to the pumpkins? Let's look. Look at all these pumpkin flowers. Look at these pumpkin leaves. They're sugar factories for the plant with chlorophyll in them and they're prickly. Now that it's evening, those flower petals are opening right up to the evening sun when it's not too hot. You see that little bug in there? Carrying that pollen from inside the flower. And that pollen stalk right there. See the pollen on my fingers? Those bugs carry it on their legs to the next pumpkin plant. That's pollination. The evening is cooling and the pumpkin flowers are opening. That is so cool. Just like in the story we read. The sun is low. Time for the pumpkin flowers to open. Here's the pumpkin flower. Here's the pumpkin vine. And if you cut into this vine, I'm going to do very carefully, you can see the tubes. It's made of one big tube, the vine is, and then inside the tube, all around the edge of the tube, are smaller tubes that carry the water and the nutrients to the pumpkin. See that water coming right out of that vine. These long tubes, one big tube with a bunch of little tubes around the edges. And all that water, just still sucking it right up even though I cut the vine. Isn't that cool? You can try that experiment at home. You can put some celery in a cup of water with some colors on it, like some colored water, and that way you can watch as the water soaks up from the ground all the way up into the tops of the celery, just like these pumpkin vines bring the water up the vine. Oh, so cool. I love pumpkins. Look at all these pumpkins. There's so many. So everything it needs, besides the sunshine, which comes from up there, 
comes through these vines along the ground and makes lots of nutrients and the rain waters the ground and then the pumpkin vine sucks up the rain, comes through the vine and to the pumpkin, into the fruit. A fruit, what? Yep, pumpkins are fruits because their seeds are on the inside. Here's a really great look inside the pumpkin at the pumpkin seeds. The ones that are left behind to rot have, that's right, seeds inside them. And the whole cycle starts again. Next spring, these seeds will be in the ground and the farmer will probably plant more seeds. And then more pumpkins can grow in the field again and again, year after year. That is the life cycle of pumpkins. So glad you came to the pumpkin patch with me. This is fun. I want to go roast some pumpkin seeds. Well, what did you think? Exploring this pumpkin patch, you got to see pumpkin seeds, pumpkin flowers, and pumpkin vines in all stages. And then here, you see the bees. They're the ones that carry the pollen from flower to flower, from plant to plant, and pollinate the pumpkin plants so they can grow. That's the end of our story. I hope that you love fall as much as I do, and I really hope you get to visit a pumpkin patch, or at least see pumpkin patches out the window of the car when you're driving around, or at least just enjoy this pumpkin patch visit where I can take you all with me. Even though we're not together, we're still together for our virtual science story time. I hope you'll join me next time. Thanks everybody for coming. little baby pumpkin and this tall funny shaped pumpkin we all say bye happy fall everybody see you next time <laughs>